Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment in its mantle, upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke will they flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink, sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys. Between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. <clears throat> he watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, and the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He, he hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in, the, in their dens. Man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with, with the great. There go the ships, there is this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thine hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth and that they, that they that work iniquity, that they shall be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. Alleluia glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to thee, O God. Our hope Glory to thee. In peace, thou pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. 
For this holy house and those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Yes. For our country, its presidents, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Yes. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our own holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee our dual glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Unto the Lord in my affliction have I cried, and he heard me. O Lord, deliver my soul from unrighteous lips and from a crafty tongue. What shall be given unto thee, and what shall be added unto thee for thy crafty tongue? The arrows of the mighty one, sharpened with coal of the desert. Woe is me, for my sojourning is prolonged. I have tented with the tentings of Kedar. My soul has long been a sojourner. With them that hate peace, I was peaceable. When I spake unto them, they warred against me without a cause. I have lifted up mine eyes to the mountains, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Give not thy foot unto the moving, and may he not slumber that keepeth thee. Behold, he shall not slumber, nor shall he sleep, he that keepeth Israel. The Lord shall keep thee, the Lord is thy shelter at thy right hand. The sun shall not burn thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil, the Lord shall guard thy soul. The Lord shall keep thy coming in and thy going out from henceforth and forevermore. I was glad because of them that said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have stood in thy court. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem is built as a city which is dwellers share in concord. For there the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, as a testimony for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones unto judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for the things which are for the peace of Jerusalem and for the prosperity of them that love thee. Let peace be now in thy strength and prosperity in thy palaces. For the sake of my brethren and my neighbors, I speak peace concerning thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I have sought good things for thee. Unto thee have I lifted up mine eyes, unto thee that dwellest in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hands of their masters, as the eyes of a handmaid look on, unto the hands of her mistress, so do our eyes look unto the Lord our God, until he take pity on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for greatly are we filled with aba abasement. Greatly hath our soul been filled therewith. Let reproach come upon them that prosper, and abasement on the proud. Had it not been that the Lord was with us, let Israel now say, Had it not been that the Lord was with us, when men rose up against us, then had they swallowed us up alive. When the wrath raged against us, they had the water overwhelmed us. Our soul has passed through a torrent, then had our soul passed through the water that is irresistible. Blessed be the, Lo be the Lord, who has not given us to be a prey to their teeth. Our soul, like a sparrow, was delivered out of the snare of the hunters. The snare is broken, and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. That they trust in the Lord shall the mount, that, the, that they trust in the Lord shall the mount Zion. He that dwelleth at Jerusalem, nevermore shall he be shaken. Mountains are round about her, and the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and forevermore. For the Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch forth their hands unto iniquities. Do good, O Lord, unto them that are good, and unto the upright of heart. But them that turn aside unto crooked ways shall the Lord lead away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we became as men that are comforted. Then was our mouth filled with joy and our tongue with rejoicing. Then shall they say among the nations, The Lord has done great things unto them. The Lord has done great things among us, and we are become glad. Turn again, O Lord, our captivity, like streams in the south. They that saw with tears shall reap with rejoicing. In their going they went, and they were wept as they cast their seeds. But in their coming shall they come with rejoicing, bearing their sheaves. Except the Lord build the house, in vain do they labor that build it. Except the Lord guard the city, in vain doth, doth he watch that guardeth her. It is vain for you to rise at dawn. Ye that eat the bread of sorrow, rouse yourself after resting, when he hath given sleep to his beloved. Lo, sons are the heritage of the Lord, the reward of the fruit of the womb. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty man, are the sons of them that are outcasts. Blessed is he that shall fulfill his desires with them. They shall not be put to shame when they speak to their enemies in the gates. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord, that walk in his ways. Thou shalt eat the fruit of thy labors. Blessed art thou, and well shall it be with thee. Thy wife shall be as fruitful vine on the sides of thy house. Thy sons like young olive trees round about thy table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord led thee out of Zion, and mayest thou see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of thy life, and mayest thou see thy children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth. Let Israel now say, Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, and yet they have not prevailed against me. The sinners wrought upon, the, upon my back, they lengthened out their iniquity. The Lord is righteous, he hath cut asunder the necks of sinners. Let them be put to shame and turn back, all them that hate Zion. Let them be as grass upon the housetops, which before it is plucked up is withered away. Wherefore the reaper filleth not his hand, nor he that gathers sheaths his bosom. Nor have they that passed by said, The blessing of the Lord is come upon you. We have blessed you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness, that thou mayest be feared. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is abundant redemption. And he will deliver Israel from all of his iniquities. O Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor in mine eyes be lofty, become lofty, nor have I walked in things too great or too marvelous for me. If I were not humbled-minded, but exalted my soul, as one weaned from his mother, so wouldst thou re requite my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Remember, O Lord David, and all his meekness, how he made an oath unto the Lord and vowed unto the God of Jacob. I shall not go into the dwelling of my house. I shall not ascend upon the bed of my couch. I shall not give sleep to mine eyes, nor slumber to mine eyelids, nor rest to my temples until I find a place for the Lord, a habitation for the God of Jacob. Lo, we have heard of it in the Ephrathah. We have found it in the plains of the woods. Let us go forth to, into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet have stood. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest. Thou art the, the ark of thy holiness. Thy priest shall be clothed with righteousness, and thy righteous shall rejoice. For the sake of David thy servant, turn not thy face away from thine anointed one. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, and he will not annul it. Of the fruit of thy loins will I set upon thy throne. If thy sons keep my covenant and these testimonies which I will teach them, their sons also shall sit forever on thy throne. For the Lord elected uh, Zion, he hath clothed, uh, chosen her to be a habitation for himself. This is my rest forever and ever. Here will I dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing, I will, pre I will bless her pursuit. Her beggars will I satisfy with bread. Her priests will I clothe with salvation, and her saints with rejoicing shall I rejoice. There will I make to spring forth a horn for David. I have prepared a lamb for my Christ. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now, what is so good or so joyous? as for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the oil of myrrh upon the head, which runneth down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, which runneth down to the fringe of his raiment. It is like the dew of Aaron, which cometh down upon the mountains of Sion, for there, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Behold now, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, in the nights, lift up your hands unto the holies, and bless the Lord. The Lord bless thee out of Zion, he that made heaven and the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our God, the God of mercy and salvation, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh, 
Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. O apostles of Christ God, ye brilliant lights of the earth born, world enriching treasuries of the Thank you. 
wisdom stand upright. O immortal mind of the morning glory of the Father immortal, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous and glory, O ye that are upright of heart. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven. Wisdom. The reading from Genesis. Let us attend. So Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Erad, and Erad was the father of Mahujael, and Mahujael the father of Methusael, and Methusael the father of Lamech. And Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other, Zillah. Ada bore Jabba, and he was the father of, of those who dwell in tents and have cattle. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. Zillah bore Tubal-Cain. He was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal-Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, you wives of Lamech. Hearken to what I say. I have slain a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another child instead of Abel, for Cain slew him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. And at that time men began to call upon the name of the Lord. Let us attend. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have put our hope in thee. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. Praise is meet for the upright. Command. Wisdom, let us attend. The light of Christ illumines all. Wisdom. The reading from Proverbs. Let us attend. Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be for yourself alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. A lovely hind, a graceful doe, let her affection fill you at all times with delight. Be infatuated always with their love. Why should you be infatuated, my son, with a loose woman and embrace the bosom of an adventuress? 
For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is caught in the toils of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly he is lost. My son, if you have become surety for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the utterance of your lips, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself. For you have come into your neighbor's power. Go, hasten, and importune your neighbor. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Lord, I have cried out unto thee, hear me, attend to the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a protecting door round about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words to make excuses in sin. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let my prayer be set for as the of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, meddling, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins, and not to judge my brother, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Father, Metropolitan Saba. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, our monks, deacons, our deacons, and monastics, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins for all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing, and all the people here present, who await thy great and rich mercy. O Lord, our God, receive this fervent supplication of thy servants and have mercy on us according to the multitude of thy mercy and send down thy compassions upon us and upon all thy people who await thy great and rich mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind and unto thee we ascribe glory 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Lord, have mercy. Last, the faithful pray for the catechumens, that the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will teach them the word of truth, that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy, catholic, and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads to the Lord, ye catechumens. O God, our God, the Creator and Maker of all things, who wills that all men should be saved and should come unto the knowledge of the truth, look down upon thy servants, the catechumens, and deliver them from the ancient delusion and from the wiles of the adversary, and call them unto life eternal, illumining their souls and bodies and numbering them with thy rational flock, which is called by thy holy name, that with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. As many as are catechumens, depart, depart, catechumens. As many as are catechumens, depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, O God, great and worthy to be praised, who through the life-giving death of thy Christ has translated us from corruption to incorruption. Deliver thou all our senses from death-dealing carnal desires, setting over them as a good ruler in the understanding that is in us. Let our eye have no part in any evil sight. Let our hearing be inaccessible to all idle words. And let our tongue be purged from unseemly speech. Purify our lips which praise thee, O Lord. Make our hands to abstain from evil deeds and to work only such things as are acceptable unto thee establishing all our members and our minds by thy grace. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. O Holy Master, exceeding good, we beseech thee, who art rich in mercy, that thou will be gracious to us sinners and make us worthy to receive thy only begotten Son and our God, the King of glory. For behold, his immaculate body and his life-giving blood entering at this present hour are about to be set forth upon this mystical table, invisibly escorted by a multitude of the heavenly hosts. Grant us to partake of them without condemnation, that the eyes of our understanding being enlightened thereby, may we may become sons of the light and of the day, through the gift of thy Christ, which, with, with whom thou art blessed together with thine own holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Now the powers of heaven invisibly worship with us, for behold, the King of glory does enter. Behold, that completed mystical sacrifices is supported in us with faith and longing. Draw near and become partakers of life everlasting. Hallelujah. Now the powers of heaven invisibly worship with us, for behold, the King of glory does enter. Behold, the completed mystical sacrifices is supported in us with faith and longing. Draw near and become partakers of life everlasting. Hallelujah. Now the powers of heaven invisibly worship with us. For behold, the King of glory does enter. Behold, the completing mystic, completed mystical sacrifices is poured in. Thus with faith and longing draw near and become partakers of life everlasting. Hallelujah. I'm going
of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Oh. Uh-huh. 
master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, meddling, lust of power, and idle talk. I give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins and not to judge my brother, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and pre-sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of that our God who lovest mankind, having received them upon his holy, most heavenly and ideal altar as an aroma of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, thus ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, thus ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, thus ask of the Lord. An ending to our life painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. O God of ineffable and unseen mysteries, with whom are hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge, who has revealed unto us the ministry of this service and has appointed unto us sinners through thy great love toward mankind to offer unto thee gifts and sacrifices for our sins and for the ignorance of the people. Do thou the same invisible King who does things great and inscrutable, gr glorious and marvelous, which cannot be numbered, look upon us, thine unworthy servants, who stand at this holy altar, as at thy cherubimic throne, upon which lieth thine only begotten Son and our God, in the dread mystery spread forth here thereon, and having delivered us and all thy faithful people from every impurity, sanctify all our souls and bodies with the sanctification which cannot be taken away that partaking with a pure conscience, with face and ashamed, with heart illumined of these divine hallowed things, and being in living through them, we may be united to Christ himself, our true God, who has said, Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me and I in him, that thy word, O Lord, making and abode in us and sojourning among us, we may become a temple of thine own holy and adorable spirit, redeemed from every evil wile of the devil, wrought either by deed or word or thought, and may obtain the good things promised unto us with all thy saints, who in all ages have been well-pleasing unto thee. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Peace be to all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O God, who alone art good and compassionate, who dwellest in the heights and regardest the humble, look with the eyes of thy tenderness upon all thy people and preserve them, and make us all worthy to partake without condemnation of these thy life-giving mysteries. For unto thee have we bowed our heads in the hope of thy rich mercy. Through the grace and compassions and love to mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine own holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hear us, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us thine immaculate body and precious blood, and through us and to all thy people. God be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy on me. O God be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy on me. O God be gracious unto me, a sinner, have mercy on me. Let's attend. The pre-sanctified holy things are for the holy. Behold, I approach the divine communion, my Creator. Consume me not to in the partaking of it. For thou art consuming fire to the unworthy. Purify me now from every stain. Receive me today, O Son of God, a partaker of thy sacramental supper, for I shall not Divulge the mystery to thine enemies, nor give the, the kiss like Judas, but like the thief, I shall confess thee. Remember me, Lord, in thy kingdom. O man, behold the divine blood, and tremble, for it is a fire consuming the unworthy, the divine body, both defeat defieth and nourish me it divieth the spirit and strength strangely nourish nourishes the mind I stand before the gates of thy temple, O Lord, and yet my grievous thoughts forsake me not. But thou, O Christ, stand, 
Christ God, who didst justify the publican, had mercy on the Canaanitish woman, and didst open the gates of paradise to the thief on the cross, open unto me the heart of thy most compassionate mercy, and receive me coming unto thee and touching thee, like the woman with the issue of blood, and like the sinful woman, for one touched but the hem of thy garment and was healed, and the other embracing thy feet, receive forgiveness of her sins. And lo, I most wretched, dare to partake of thy precious body. O let me not be consumed, but receive me as thou receivest them, and enlighten my spiritual senses, and destroy all my sinful inclinations. Hear me through the prayers of thy holy mother and of thy heavenly hosts, for thou art blessed throughout the ages. Amen. Thou hast enraptured me, O Christ, by thy longing, and hast changed me by thy divine love. Consume my sins with thine immaterial fire, and enable me and enable me so to be filled with thy bliss, that rejoicing I may magnify thy dual presence, O good one. Into the brilliant company of thy saints, how shall I, unworthy and sinful, enter? If I dare to enter into the bride chamber, my garment will put me to shame, for it is not a wedding garment, and I shall be bound hand and foot and cast by thine angels. Purify, Lord, my polluted soul, and save me, for thou art a lover of mankind. With the fear of God, faith and love drawing near. God is the Lord that hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue.
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our hearts be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy glory. Stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O God, the Saviour of all, for all the good things which thou hast granted unto us, and for the communion of the holy body and blood of thy Christ. And we beseech thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, to keep us under the shelter of thy wings, and grant that even unto our last breath we may worthily partake of thy holy things, unto the illumination of soul and body, and unto the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty Master, who has made all creation in wisdom and by thy inexpressible providence and great goodness, has brought us to all these all revered days for the purification of soul and body, for the controlling of passions, and for hope of resurrection who during the forty days did give into the hands of thy servant Moses the tablets of the law in characters divinely traced by thee. Enable us also, good one, to fight the good fight, to complete the course of the fast, to preserve inviolate the faith, to crush underfoot the heads of invisible serpents, to be accounted victors over sin, and uncondemned to attain unto, the, unto and worship the holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord. 
Glory to Thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of His all immaculate, all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, Foran and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, laudable apostles, especially Peter and Paul, the patron saints of our community, of our Father among the saints, Gregory the Theologist, Pope of Rome, whose pre-sanctified divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the venerable Ilarion the New, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp around about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye saints, all ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life, who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the soul of his servants, and none of them will do wrong in that hope in him. I will exalt thee, O, God, o Lord my God, my King, and I will bless thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly to be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Generation and generation shall praise thy works, and thy power shall be, they, they declare. Of thy majesty, of the glory of thy holiness shall they speak and they shall tell of thy wonders, and the power of thine awesome deeds shall they relate, and they shall tell of thy majesty. The memory of the multitude of thy goodness shall they pour forth, and in thy righteousness shall they rejoice. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his compassions are over all his works. Let all thy works, O Lord, give praise to thee, and let thy righteous ones bless thee. Of thy glory and of thy kingdom shall they speak, and shall tell of thy dominion, to make thy dominion known to the sons of men, and to the glory, and, and, and to the glory of the majesty of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is the kingdom of all the ages, and thy sovereignty is in every generation and generation. Faithful is the Lord in all his words, and holy in, in all his works. The Lord upholdeth all that are that are falling, and setteth up all that are broken down. The eyes of all look to thee with hope, and thou gavest them their food in due season. Thou openest thy hand and fillest every living thing with thy favor. Righteous is the Lord in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all, unto all that call upon him, to all that call on him in truth. The will of them that fear him shall he do, and their supplication shall he hear, and he shall save them. The Lord preserveth all that love him, and but all the sinners shall he utterly destroy. 
the mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all the flesh bless his holy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Lord.